everyone hope you're having a great december so far it is the first of december i don't know when this is going up i should try and get it up on the first but i feel like i've got at least two videos scheduled today already but does that matter no it doesn't so i've already said this but basically i know it's december today but at the same time i forgot it was december and it didn't click in my head what december the first meant or what december meant anyway but until today when I realised <laughs> not only was it December but it's actually advent calendar time. I do have two. There is another video that's been filmed. Probably not as good as quality as this one but you'll find out why anyway. But um, actually I did have three advent calendars. One's a 12 day one and it's fully open because I opened it like a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, so this is the M&S advent calendar. Now, I tried to get one last year, I ordered it within minutes of it going live and then they cancelled it saying it was out of stock, yet other people were still getting it, so, you know. This year, as soon as I realised it was up, I made an order, because I would have made an order anyway, because I think you had to spend 35 and then this cost 45 A lot of people were saying this isn't worth the money this year, um, and that this case is flimsy. It is, because if you take the boxes out, because they've got the boxes inside, it doesn't stand up straight like it's got no support to it so they're saying you get this but you don't because unless you want it to be floppy it's not a great travel bag makeup bag toiletry bag whatever you want it to be so when i've completed the advent i was like trying to think what the word was i will be doing it and it's charity because i won't use it because it's not sturdy if it was sturdy it's not a bad color so I would have kept it, but there's no support to it. It just, it's weak. So obviously when you buy the advent, you can see what's in it. So I always, always look what's in the advent before I buy it to work out if it's worth it for me, if I'm going to get anything from it, if it's products that I would want, if I would use the products, etc. So because I liked the look of the products, um, obviously it's the calendar for me um it there was a few products in it that sold it for me basically if some of these products weren't in here i may not have got this because obviously you've got to spend 80 pounds in total to get it like a minimum because you have to spend a minimum of 35 plus this is 45 so i could have spent that elsewhere and i was tempted but there are some things in here that i really really like so it's up to you to decide if you think it's worth it or not. I mean, just because it's not worth it to you, it doesn't mean it's not worth it to me or other people. Everyone likes different things and different things are worth it to some people than others. So day one. And by the way, I don't I don't remember the majority of what's in here. But obviously when I open it, I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember that. Or there's times when I've had this when I'm like, oh, I forgot that was in there. So day one, make it pop. Try and open it on camera, even though I'm at a weird angle now. I'm trying to open this. Oh, that's tiny. Oh, it's the Clinique one. So this is not full size. And it's the um, Colour Pop Lip Colour in the shade Burr Pop. I mean, that is tiny. I'm trying to open this. I actually got a lipstick recently called Burr. But it's spelled B-E-A-R and this is B-A-R-E. I can't open I can't open it because it's so small oh you pull it off there's me twisting it. oh I thought it was a liquid lipstick it's an actual lipstick which I prefer I'm gonna put this on today this is my kind of shade kind of a pinky your lips but better color it's got a glitter to it so it's not going to be light lips but it's actually very similar to that if you look, it's not too dissimilar. I think it's slightly darker in the tube. But I've had Clinique, Clinique, Clinique lips products before. I've had one of those, you know, those jumbo sticks. What they called those? The lipsticks, but they're in like a big jumbo pencil. Well, bigger than a jumbo pencil. You know what I mean? I can't remember what that's called because I've still got it. I should get rid of it. I've had it ages. But I am going to put that on. Normally, I put the thing back down and I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll use it at some point. But today, that is 100% going on my lips. So day one, it's good. 
except for it's not a full size one. I think there's 12 full size in here from memory, it could be less, but I think there's 12 full size. I mean, tomorrow is day two. Not going to open it. I mean, that might not be full size because some of them are massive boxes. I mean, that's tiny in there. Anyway, so day one, we're off to a good start, but it's not full size. That would be better full size. Do you know what? If I bought this, I would not be impressed with the packaging because for how much Clinique products cost, this is quite cheap packaging. Unless this is only cheap because it's the mini. If the full size came in such... It's not flimsy flimsy, but it, it's quite cheap and plasticky. So I wonder if the full size is as cheap and plasticky as that. I don't know. But that's day one. If you want to know what's in day two, come back tomorrow. If you want to know what's in day three, come back the day after. I mean, hopefully I'm going to get these up every single day. Where is day three? Am I staring at it? Oh, there it is. But yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I shall hopefully be back tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, press the notification button and have an amazing day.